Hey, what's up y'all? Happy Friday and welcome back to Bless My Vegan Heart. So, I don't know about you guys, but I have those mornings where I am going to work and I really want a smoothie because I don't really want anything like super filling to eat early in the morning, but I also want coffee. So I was really struggling for, with this for a little bit. Like I used to either like drink my coffee before work and then have my smoothie, take it to go or vice versa. But then my boyfriend actually came up with the idea of putting them together. And I'm like, oh my God, girl, you are obsessed with Starbucks. How do you not know this beforehand? Hello, Frappuccinos. Hello, the whole deal. So I was like, I'm going to create a version that's vegan and call it the better for you Frappe. It's so funny. He's like, doesn't even look like he's there. This is my faux fur throw. I can't even remember where I got it from. But look at my dog. He's right here. And you can't even see him. Ranger! Ranger! <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, anyway, let's get into this better for you frappe. Alright, so the first thing is going to be your Vega protein. This is just how you add that extra protein into the smoothie. I like to make it the chocolate taste and it adds about 20 grams of protein per serving so that's pretty cool. Next thing is going to be your non-dairy milk. I really like this brand recently because it also has 10 grams of protein per serving. Then the almond butter as well. So this is gonna be a substitution for peanut butter. You can also use peanut butter, but I really like almond butter, no sugar or salt added. Um, your coffee, obviously. I will say I do have a Keurig, and I'm sure you've heard before, but K-Cups are very much so bad for the environment, so I always try to get the Eco Pods. They basically just don't have that plastic bottom. So, you know, just a little bit better for the environment. Try to help where you can. And then also we have frozen banana. I'm one of those people that definitely will have their bananas go bad and not use them. So I like to just keep them frozen. Three optional things I will say. One is this flax seed right here. It's just if you want to add a little bit to your nutritional value for the day. Also has omegas. And then these are just the cute optional things if you want to make it for other people, etc. This ready whip is something I'll just put on the top along with this Hershey's chocolate syrup, which is surprisingly vegan. It's super weird, but it is. So that's all the ingredients you need. Um, pretty simple. There's about eight ingredients, yeah, but there's that. All right guys, so first things first is that we are just gonna make the coffee. So like I said, we are using a little Eco Pod that I got at Sprouts. And it's just their Guatemalan coffee. All right, now we're just gonna let that sit there for a little bit while we prepare this smoothie and then we'll add that in a little bit later. All right, y'all, so first we're gonna add some bananas. Then I do my scoop of protein. You can do two scoops if you want, I just do one. about a tablespoon of flaxseed. Like I said, it doesn't really have any taste, just adds a little bit of nutritional value. Some almond butter, about a couple tablespoons I would say. You can do more if you just really like peanut butter or almond butter, for sure. Can definitely do more and it will be just as delicious. And then we are just gonna add the milk into the max. That's the way I usually do it. If it goes a little bit over, that's okay. But it's about a half cup to a cup depending on what type of 
blender you have. I'm just gonna go a little bit over. And then now we're just gonna put the top on and blend. you guys now I was trying to try this bad boy right here oh my gosh this is so delicious I'm literally gonna drink this whole thing right now oh my gosh amazing I'm gonna put that down and finish it in just a second but that is it for today, guys. It is just a five minute frappuccino at home recipe. But as always, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate all you guys and how much support you give me and how you watch all my videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like it so I know to keep making recipes like this for you guys. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe below and click the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Alright guys, take it easy.